everyone, it's Sarah, and today I am back to do another subscriber requested video. So I was recently asked to do an updated oil collection video. I think I just did this. I, I feel like I just did an oil video not too long ago, but I've got so many oils and I've gotten so many more since the last time I did one that I thought I would go ahead and make an updated one. And then as I'm going through them, I'm going to tell you what my favorite oils are in my collection. So I will tell you, this is not, these are not all of my oils. These are most of them, but I have a ton of oils from Sucre Bay that are in storage that, so you're not going to see any of my Sucre Bay oils in here. Um, those are some of my favorites. I've also got some oils from, um, I've got oils from other indie houses as well. I've got oils from the House of Gloy. I've got some oils from um, Siren Song Elixirs. And I've just, I've got some other ones, but again, they're all in storage, so I couldn't include them in this video. But I've got a ton here. I'm gonna jump right in. I'm gonna go through these pretty quickly because I've got so, so many. Um, if there are any, if there's anything in here that you want a more detailed like review on, or um, you know, if there's a certain brand in here or house that you would like me to do a dedicated video for, um, just let me know and we'll definitely do that. So I'm gonna start with a couple of knee mat oils that I have. This one here, I have to try to keep this one sitting up because this one actually leaked all over everything because the lid doesn't the lid doesn't close properly on this but um this is called vanilla musk and this is just a really beautiful oh it's a stunning vanilla fragrance um it's just a really beautiful true vanilla fragrance it makes a great base for a lot of things i love using this as a base for my tohota perfume from coco pink um, it's really amazing for that and I believe you can still pick this up at Ulta. I also think you can get these at Whole Foods um, But yeah, I got mine from where did it, I think I No, I think I picked mine up off of Amazon actually, but you can get them at Ulta So anyways, that is Nemat Vanilla Musk I have also got this one from Nemat called Musk Amber. This is a beautiful uh, this is a beautiful like skin musk and sweet resinous amber fragrance. It's stunning. I love it. So that is musk amber. I'm going to have to force myself to move it along or we'll be here forever. <laughs> Next I've got Lake and Sky 1111. This is another. This is musk and white amber. I adore this perfume. This is one of my, this would be in a, like a 20 for life for sure. I couldn't live without this perfume. It's amazing. It's such a beautiful, clean, but super warm, cozy musk fragrance. I love it. So that is Lake and Sky 1111. I'm going to do all the one-offs first, and then I'll get into the, the ones that I have a ton of oils from. Um, okay, next I've got this one here. This is from La Vanilla, and this is called the Forever Fragrance Oil, and this is Vanilla Grapefruit. Um, this thing is an absolute beast. It's amazing, and I love layering my vanilla grapefruit perfume over the oil. But the oil can totally stand on its own because it's a beast. I love it. Um, okay, next I have got, I see, and I have more of these ones as well. Um, this is from a brand or a little house called Alpha Musk. I've got more of these as well in storage. Um, this is one called Take My Vice Insanity. It smells amazing. It's like fruity. That one's kind of sweet and fruity. And then I've got Blue Cotton Candy, which, oh, so yummy. It kind of smells like blue raspberry cotton candy or something. And then I've got this one here called Cotton Pop. These were sent over to me from a subscriber. Um, who she always sends me amazing things. Yeah, so that one is called Cotton Pop. That one's that one's kind of uh, sweet, but it's kind of um, almost kind of skin-like too. Okay, next I have got some Nest oils, and I these are some of my favorite oils. These are amazing. South Pacific sandalwood. Ugh, so good. It's just a beautiful sandalwood, but it's kind of a floral sandalwood. 
Next, we've got Turkish Rose. This is an incredible oil. I love this one. As soon as I run through this baby, I'm gonna get a, a full size of the Turkish Rose. Next, we've got Indian Jasmine. Again, just a beautiful, just a beautiful Jasmine. It's stunning. These nest oils are seriously amazing. They're absolute beasts. They last forever and they're just incredible. And then last but not least, we've got the Madagascar Vanilla, which again is just a stunning vanilla fragrance. Oh, I love it so much. So Madagascar Vanilla, that's another one. The rose and the vanilla, as soon as I get through those babies, I'm gonna get full size, a full size of those. Okay, next I have got some solstice sense oils. I do have more of these as well. These are just the ones that I had with me. Um, I love solstice sense oils. I always order it in the fall because I just love their fall scents. The first one I have is called Conjure and Conjure is so good. Ooh, it's kind of like spicy and resinous. Spicy, sweet, and resinous. So yum. Um, next we've got Smokewood Apiary. This is a beautiful, oh my gosh, this is a beautiful kind of smoky honey fragrance. Oh, it's so good, so good. It's kind of like, if you like Zoologist Bee, I think you would love this. This one's a little, it's not quite as complex as Bee, and, but the honey smell is the same. It's got that same kind of honey, that same honey smell that Bee has, it's amazing. Um, next, I've got Maplewood Inn. Ugh, it's like maple. It's beautiful. It's kind of a woody maple. It's not overly sweet. It's not too sugary, so you're not going to smell like a pancake, but it's like a kind of slightly sweet woody maple. It's beautiful. You're going to smell like... Uh, next, we've got Foxcroft Fairgrounds. And this is another one that's it's so nice because I love this one because it's got that... It smells like, you know, a fair, like apples and like sweet apples, maybe funnel cakes, but it also is earthy. It's got like this dirt. It really does have this like earthy dirt, earthy soil smell to it. It's so good. So it keeps it from being smelling juvenile. It keeps it very grown up smelling. I, I just love it. It's beautiful. So that is Foxcroft Fairgrounds. Uh, next we have got Gibbons Mischief Night. This is another one that it's like, it's got chocolate in it and yeah, it's got, the chocolate is the most prominent note in it. It's like a powdery chocolate and it's sweet and yummy and gosh, Gibbons Mischief Night I think is supposed to be like a you know, if you could think of like a bunch of kids having a sleepover with like candy and you know, stuff like that. I think that's what it's kind of supposed to smell like. Okay, and then the last Solstice Scents one I have is this one here called White Fox. I feel like somebody sent this one over to me. Yeah, I feel like this one was sent over to me. Oh, it's so good. I love this one because it's a really subtle, kind of earthy vanilla. It's beautiful. I love it. So that one is called White Fox. That one, I believe, was sent to me. And then next, I have got all of my Estero oils. And these are some of my favorites in my collection. Um, it's funny because after... Once I had almost all of these in my collection, I'm only missing one, which is called Country Livin', um, which when she comes back, yeah, that's the thing. If you guys want to order from Estero right now, I believe somebody told me that she's like on vacation, she's taking a break, and then she, she's going to resume. That's why everything is showing is being sold out on her website, but as soon as she comes back, everything will restock. So as soon as she comes back and everything restocks, I am gonna order the Country Living Oil because that's the only one that I'm missing. And I, every time I talk about these, I say that if I lost my entire perfume collection and had nothing but all of my Estero oils left, I would be happy because I would have something for everything. They, it would cover like my entire all factory needs. Um, but anyways, yeah, so the first one I have here is called Heaven Scent, and this is kind of a, that's another thing, her oils are such high quality oils that they don't get weird, they smell amazing even months later. 
which you'll see when I start talking about some of these other ones, some of them have gotten weird. It's like the base of them has done something weird. And these don't ever do anything like that. But anyways, Heaven Scent is, it's kind of like a really, really light, delicate citrus, but it's kind of got this skin musk scent to it. This one is really, really hard to explain, but it's really, really beautiful. It doesn't smell like much in the tube, but once it gets on your skin and it kind of warms up and, and starts kind of, you know, scenting, you can really smell it and it's beautiful. So anyways, that one is called Heaven Scent. Next, I've got this one here called Smells Like Bang. This is a beautiful, sweet, sweet, but clean kind of cotton candy scent. It's, this one's awesome. I love it because it's not super juvenile smelling. It's not overpowering. It's just this really nice kind of sweet skin scent again. It's gorgeous. So that is Smells Like Bang. Next we've got Smells Like Astero. This is a beautiful white musk scent. Kind of like an Egyptian white musk though. It's so good. It's like one of the best clean musks I've ever smelled. I love it. So that is Smells Like Astero. Then we've got this one here. This is called Black Mermaid and this one this one is hard for me to explain because it's really, really floral, like super floral, but it's a really clean floral. And at the same time, it kind of reminds me of like a hippie shop. So it's like this super clean, but really floral, like really floral, floral oil, but kind of smells like a hippie shop, which is really weird, but it smells like I don't know, but it's super, super clean. It's one that I've never really smelled anything like it, and I have a hard time explaining that one every time because it's such an odd, but really good fragrance. It's an absolute beast too. This thing lasts forever. You could probably get 10 or 12 hours out of that. Next, I've got this one here called Superheroes, and this one, uh, this one is kind of a, uh, it's kind of an er herbaceous. It's kind of slightly sweet, but it kind of smells a little bit herbaceous, but clean. Oh, it's really, really nice. It's a super good one. They're, all of her oils are so good. And then she sent this. This, this, is a, this is actually a roll-on perfume, but you can get this in an oil, and it's called Heaven Boy. And it's an Heaven Boy is a mixture of these two fragrances. So Heaven Scent and Indigo Boy, it's a mixture of those two and it smells amazing. So it's this beautiful kind of light musk and citrus, but then Indigo Boy is like darker and a little bit more masculine smelling. And again, the Indigo Boy is really, really clean and I think it smells, it smells like it's got a touch of patchouli in it. So the combination of the two is so, so good. And that's what Indigo Boy is. Um, oh my gosh, it's really, really nice. So there's one of you that has this and wears it all of the time and is always talking about how much you love it. So yeah, definitely don't take my word for it. It's like super, super good. <laughs> really, really good one. And then the last two from Estero that I've got is, I've got this one here called The Bakery, and this one is, oh my gosh, there's something kind of edible smelling about this one. It smells kind of like a gourmand fragrance, like it's got maybe a hint of vanilla in it, and smells slightly like something that you would want to eat, but it also smells clean and sweet and clean and you can see look how dark that oil is the oil itself is almost black it's so so nice oh my gosh i love that one that's one of my favorite ones um just because i'm such a sucker for anything that smells even vaguely gourmand so that one is called the bakery and then the last sterile oil that i have is this one here called swallow me 
and this is another oh man this one's even more gourmand than the than the bakery this one's sweeter than the bakery too and this one is really hard for me to explain because I have absolutely no idea what is actually in any of these but this one smells like it's got something edible in it this one smells like it's got a ton of vanilla in it but it still has this like sweet cleanliness to it they all have like a cleanliness to them even though even if they have like a gourmand edge to them it's they're so good swallow me in the bakery are amazing every single one of them is amazing these oils are so good and they're like eleven dollars they're really really nice oils and the quality of the oils on these I can tell you from all of the oils that I have these are some of the best quality oils that I've got in my collection they have held up amazingly they have not gotten weird um, and I've got some others that have gotten weird that I haven't even had as long as I've got the era as I've had these so those are sterile oils okay next I've got I've got three oils from a brand called Sugar Works Beauty Lab and a, I think yeah I've ordered I gave some of these to my mom and I've ordered a ton and then not a ton I've ordered some and then some were sent over to me from a subscriber and let's see here yeah these are the three that are my favorite from the from the brand that I've kept this one is called Sugar Me Marshmallow and this one is, it really does smell like if you just opened a bag of marshmallows and stuck your nose in there, that's what this oil smells like, which I love because it makes for a great base for pretty much anything. You can layer literally almost anything over this and I love it. So that one is called Sugar Me Marshmallow. And then I've got this one here called Cotton Candy Smoothie. This is one of the ones that sh uh, that were sent over. Not from the brand, from a subscriber. This smells like straight up blue raspberry candy. That's what it smells like. It smells like blue raspberry candy. It smells so good. It's really, if you wanna smell like a, a Smarty or a Sweet Tart or something, that's definitely it. And then this one here, this is one of my favorite oils that I've got in my collection, hands down, like one of my favorite oils. This one is called Chai Creme Anglaise. And this is like a spicy, it's like a spicy, creamy chai. But like when I say creamy, it's like whipped cream. It's like sweet, yummy, whipped cream on top of like a sweet creamy chai tea it's so good i love layering um i can't remember the the name of the fragrance right now well anyways i love layering stuff over this perfume because if you've got something in your collection that is it's kind of like a spicy fragrance but maybe is doesn't have enough sweetness or it's great to layer anything over that you feel like isn't sweet enough it adds like a sweetness but without taking away the spice because it's really spicy it's just super nice it's one of my favorite oils in my collection hands down so that one is called chai creme anglaise and then i did buy a whole bunch of these oils here from orientica um i ordered these off of what website was that called al rashad there are so many more of these that i want but they're always out of stock so i'm kind of been waiting forever for some of them to come back back in stock but they never have but this one is called violet oud and this this reminds me so much of some kind of, of some perfume but i cannot for the life of me think of what perfume it is well people say that it smells like lancome hypnos but i guess it does maybe a little bit that might be what it's reminding me of it's definitely perfumey and it smells like a perfume it's really really nice it's a super long-lasting oil too and these are so inexpensive I think they're like three maybe 395 maybe 295 395 they're under five dollars I can tell you that and they're super nice so that one is called uh, violet oud from from orientica 
Okay, next I have got a bunch of oils from Kumba Made. So the first one I have is this one here. This is one of the newer ones to my collection. This one is called Amber Paste. And this one doesn't have a roller ball. It has like a stick and the, the it's actually a paste. It's not an oil, it's definitely a paste. It's beautiful. It's a really beautiful resinous amber. And then I've got this one here called Water Lily. And Water Lily is really beautiful. It's a really light, it's a light kind of citrusy floral. Yeah, not kind of, it's very citrusy. It's a light, fresh, very citrusy floral. It's really, really beautiful. And then I've got this one here, Creamy Coconut, which again is just a pretty straightforward coconut fragrance. And then I've got this one here called Zen Rain. Zen Rain is okay. It's a little, it's kind of a really clean, very sharp floral. It's almost too sharp for me, but I do like it. It's green smelling too. It's very green, kind of soapy, green, soapy, sharp floral. It's okay. It's probably my least favorite of my Kumba maids. No, that's not true. This next one is my least favorite. This one is called Honeysuckle Rose, and this one just is not anything that I want to smell like. It smells really old fashioned in a really bad way. It's just not good at all. I don't like this at all. So that is Honeysuckle Rose. Uh, next I've got Persian Garden, which I've had people tell me that this time of year is the best time of year to wear the Persian Garden fragrance or the Persian Star. These are so nice, but you can almost not smell them until you get them on your skin. Yeah, they're really, really nice fragrances, but they're almost undetectable. Ooh, but they're really nice. They're clean, clean, kind of light skin musks. Ooh, they're super nice. So that is Persian Garden. And then I've got this one here called Persian Star, which is supposed to be a stronger version of Persian Garden. Yeah, it does seem like a stronger version, but it smells a little bit different. Ooh, but they're both super nice. They're really, um, they're really nice, super clean kind of skin musks. And then I've got this one here called Lavender Lace. And Lavender Lace is beautiful. It's a clean, soapy lavender. Oh, it's so nice. I love it. And I love the color of the liquid of this one because it's like this light lavender purple. And then I've got black coconut and black coconut is coconut and chocolate. Oh, it's so, so nice. I love it. Next, I've got just plain vanilla bean. And this is another great vanilla to layer with. It's, it's just a really beautiful, creamy, yummy, edible, single note vanilla. It's amazing. Then I've got this one here called Vanilla Musk and Vanilla Musk is white musk and vanilla. So yeah, this one is just vanilla and white musk and it's really, really nice. And then the last Kumba made one that I have is this one here called Sweet Rain and I love this one. This is probably the most underrated Kuma made oil that I've got. I never talk about this one, but oh, it's so nice. This one really does smell like a hippie shop. It smells like, ooh, it's like a, it's kind of a light, fresh patchouli. And it does have a sweetness to it. It's a super nice one. So that one is called Sweet Rain. Okay, and then next I have a whole bunch of Al Rahab oils. So I'm gonna go quickly through these because I've got a ton of them. So the first one I have is this one here called Cobra. And Cobra is supposed to be, it's supposed to be a clone for Poison from Dior. Um, I would say it's a clone for the reformulation of Poison. Like the reformulation that's not very good. That's what this one smells like. I'm not, I don't love it. Um, it's all right, but I don't love it. Okay, the next one I have is this one here called White Horse. And this is a really nice, clean, but sweet 
fragrance as well. I've also got the spray perfume that goes with that one. I really like that one. Uh, next we've got this one here. This is called Nargis and this one smells like um, this one smells like Eclat de Arpege from Lanvin. Okay, next I've got this one here. This one is called Green Tea, and this is another one that it smells, um, when you smell it out of the roller ball, it doesn't smell like Elizabeth Arden green tea or like a traditional kind of green tea scent. But then once you get it on your skin, it does start to smell kind of like Elizabeth Arden green tea. It's really nice. This is another one that I really, really like. I wouldn't say it's like in my top five probably, but I really do like this one. So that one is green tea. Okay, next we have got, and I would say that White Horse is in my top five as well. So Chaco Musk, Tutti Musk, White Horse, Dalal. Yeah, and then, oh no, I know what the fifth one is. Okay, next is this one here. This one is called Africana. And this one, this thing is nuclear. This is one of the most nuclear oils I've ever smelled in my life. And this one is really strange. It's very, very clean, but at the same time, it smells like candy. So it's a strange little fragrance. It's like, I like it, but I, I do like it, but then sometimes I don't like it. It's an interesting oil. I am glad I have it in my collection though. And then next we've got this one here called White Musk. And this one is really nice. It smells like, it smells like white musk. It's just a really, really clean, but I like it because it's not, it doesn't smell like every other white musk on the market. It's a really clean, really nice, soft, white musk scent that doesn't smell like, you know, Jovan white musk or every other white musk on the market. And then last but not least, I've got this one here called Moroccan Rose. This would be my fifth favorite. Um, this one is so good. It's such a beautiful, light, modern, fresh, kind of slightly watery. It's like lemon. Rose, yeah, it's citrusy. It's like citrus rose, like, clean and like water yeah it's so so pretty i love this one so that one is called moroccan rose okay and then we're gonna get into um the ones that i have the most of which are these are oils from sweet essentials and these are some of the ones and i think it's because it's made with organic oil some of them have gone kind of weird with blending with the fragrance oils. Um, I don't think they've gone off, but I think something about the way that the organic jojoba oil is meshing with the fragrance oils is just not great with some of them. And I'll let you know which ones those are as we go. So the first one I have is this one here. This is almond coconut. This is a Laura Mercier type. And hands down, this is one of my favorites from Sweet Essentials. This is an incredible oil. It smells so good. It's very, very close to the actual perfume as well, and it is so good. So that is Almond Coconut from Laura Mercier type. Next, we've got Apple Blossom and Vanilla. This is one, this one is super nice, but it's like a light kind of, it's a light, crisp, like delicate floral. It's really beautiful, but this is one of the ones that is not, it's starting to smell off, like there's something not right with how the fragrance oil is meshing with the actual oil. Um, yeah, it doesn't, there's something a little bit off smelling about it. Next, we've got Fancy Type. So this is a clone of Jessica, of Jessica Simpson Fancy. I love it. It's really, really nice. But again, this is one that is something about it is smelling kind of off. Yeah, it's sad. There's something just not right. And it, it's like that on the skin too. Cause I thought, well, maybe it's just smelling like that in the roller ball. No, it's translating onto the skin as well. And it's not a nice smell. Okay. Next we have got sweet beachy cream. This is another one. 
Wow, this one has gotten really, really weird. This one almost smells like bad breath, like halitosis or something. It's really strange. I don't know what happened. Next, we've got this one here called Cupcake. Cupcake still smells eh, pretty good, but there's something kind of weird. It's got that weirdness in the base that translates on the skin as well. So, you know what? I'm gonna, the ones that have gotten weird, uh, which has been a lot of these. The ones that have gotten weird, I'm gonna put to the side. Okay, next we've got Confetti Cake. This is one that I never have really loved, and it's weird. I don't love it, but it's also kinda, kinda gotten weird. Um, next we've got Madagascar Vanilla. I just wore this one. This one has not been gotten weird. This one is still amazing and perfect. So yeah, Madagascar Vanilla is still good. Um, next we've got Coconut Cream Pie. This one is still beautiful. This one still smells amazing. I love Coconut Cream Pie. Heliotrope still smells amazing. I just wore this the other day too. Oh, I forgot to put this in my What I Wore Last Week video. I love this. This is heliotrope. It's like a beautiful powdery kind of almondy heliotrope, but it's got a greenness to it. It's stunning. This is one of my top five. So top five for sweet essentials would be heliotrope, Laura Mercier almond coconut, um, and I'll keep going. Uh, we've got dreamy vanilla type, which is a Victoria's Secret fragrance. Also beautiful, still smells really nice love this one next we've got this one here called cozy this is another of my top five this one still smells incredible this is definitely one of my top five for sweet essentials next we have got pistachio and cardamom cake this one still smells amazing it's so so good this is definitely one of my top five it's so good next we've got cake batter this one has gotten weird. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the oil. I feel like it's the oil. Something about the oil has gone off. Um, this one is called Banana Creme Brulee. This one has gotten weird. Yeah, this one, it's okay. It's not, it's not horribly off yet, but it's not, it's not perfect either. Vanilla Valentine. This one's okay. It's not perfect, but it's still okay. I wonder if that's what it is. The oil has gone off. It might be because it's organic. It's organic um, jojoba, coconut, and castor seed oil. I'm wondering if one of the oils has gone off or something. This one is called Cinnamon Churros. This one is, eh, it's right there. It still smells okay, but it's like about to go off. This, next we've got Cactus and Dewberry. This one still smells good. Yeah, this one still smells really nice. Next we've got Fresh Vanilla. See, now this one was sent over to me by a subscriber a long time ago. So these ones are probably a couple years old and these ones still smell amazing. So I'm wondering if maybe I just got a bad batch or maybe I got the ones that I got were maybe made with older oil or something. I don't know, but Fresh Vanilla, again, is one that was sent over to me like a long time ago. This one is years old by this point and it still, still smells perfect. Perfect and fresh and amazing. So good. So that one is Fresh Vanilla. Uh, next we have got Island Vibes. This one still smells really good. This is from a different batch too than the, the first, than these last ones I ordered. So this one still smells amazing. Perfect. Um, Vanille Canel, and this is from, uh, this is a Comptoir Sud Pacifique clone. This one still smells really nice. It's like a perfumey vanilla. Um, Blue Sugar for Men Type. This is another one that still smells amazing, but this was from the first batch that I ordered. So it still smells perfect. Um, yeah, I'm thinking that the ones that aren't, that smell off, there's something, it's something with the batch that they're from. Um, this one is called In Love Again, which is from YSL. It's a clone. This one still smells, well, no, this one's off. This one smells off. Um, next we've got Soft Vanilla. This is another one that 
was sent over to me. This one still smells amazing and it's probably older than all of the others and it still smells perfect and amazing. So yeah, there's something off about the ones that don't smell right. Next we've got Sweet Musk. This one still smells amazing. I love this. This is gonna be great to layer under my Jovan Musk perfume. It's perfect. This might be my number five, we'll see. Um, next we've got Jasmine Vanilla. This is another one that was sent over by a subscriber a long time ago. It's one of the oldest ones and it still smells perfect. Absolutely perfect. So yeah, there's definitely something about the ones that are off. There's something different about them. Um, next we've got this one here called Seaside Cotton. Beautiful, really, really fresh perfume. I love this one. Seaside Cotton still smells perfect. Next we've got Brown Sugar. This is from an older, the first batch that I ordered as well. And it's older. This one again still smells perfect. Okay, next we've got Soothing Vanilla Milk. I love this one. I love this one. Um, yeah, this one still smells amazing. And, ooh, yeah, I love that one. Um, next we've got Rice Flower and Shea. Sadly, I think this one is off. Yep, this one is off as well. Um, next we've got Warm Vanilla Sugar, but not, not like Bath & Body Works Warm Vanilla Sugar. It's just like their own Warm Vanilla Sugar. This one smells really nice. Oh yeah, this one's still perfect. Yes, I love this one and it's still perfect. And it does kind of smell like Bath & Body Works, but uh, it's a good one. And next we've got Sun Tanning Lotion. This is an older from the first batch I ordered too and this one's perfect. So yeah, for the most part, yeah, I'm gonna say Sweet Musk is my fifth favorite. I'm gonna say for the most part, um, all of these Sweet Essential Oils, I'll show you how many, I'll show you how many I've got that aren't fine. Um, all of these right here, all of these have gone off. There's something about them. And I don't know if, like I said, maybe it's something to do with the fragrance oils meshing with the oils that made it, that made them go off, or maybe the oils are just not good. I can definitely tell you that these are darker than the ones that, that look fine. Yeah, definitely. Um, so it looks like, yeah, most of the ones that smell like they've gone off, the liquid is a lot darker. I don't know if you can see, but the liquid has turned a lot darker. Um, so yeah, that's sad that some of them are just not good anymore. And I haven't even had them that long. You guys know I just ordered these, like I just ordered a lot of these a few months ago. So maybe four or five months ago. Um, so yeah, it's sad that some of them are not good anymore, but the majority of them, the majority of them are good and it's not going to deter me from ordering more. I will, I'm still totally comfortable ordering more, but yeah, anyways, guys, that is most of my oil collection. Again, I do have some that are in storage that. I wasn't able to show you, but that is the majority of my oil collection. Um, let me know if there are any that you want, you know, full reviews on or that you just want more information on. Let me know in the comments down below. I will not be listing these in the description box. There's just way too many of them to list. So just, you know, try to make a note of, of one if you're interested and you need to ask me something more about it. Let me know in the, in the comments down below. I do hope that you all enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I will see you in my next one. Bye.